Hello everyone. I am Dr. Shobha N. Goyalwood from Department of Family Resource Management, College of Community Science, University of Agriculture Science, Dharwad. And this is uh, my part of PhD researchers work. I'm going to present the use of gunny waste fiber as a complement in handmade paper production for sustainable environment. Now coming to the introduction part, uh, the uh, now we have concern for the environment is increasing day by day that makes the people more uh, interested in environment friendly and sustainable products. The natural fibers are scientifically considered as recyclable, biodegradable and ultimately eco-friendly in nature. India has about around 450 handmade paper units, which are mainly based on cotton rags and hosiery cotton cuttings. And they are producing uh, nearly about 50,000 tons of handmade papers and the board having a turnover of rupees 250 crores. And this uh, created a big gap between the projected demand and the present production of handmade paper, which can be reduced by introducing the uh, alternative lignocellulosic raw material like jute <clears throat> and we have already know the jute and its uses that is jute which is significantly known as an uh, bruso nishia papi fera has played a significant role in the development of paper and it is 100% biodegradable recyclable and ecological fiber plant and it is called as an golden fiber because of its golden in color and it is growing more in bangladesh and we have uh, um, jute has in, uh, several types of uses. During the industrial revolution, uh, revolution uh, jute are uh, largely replaced by flax and hemp fibers in a, as a sack cloth and today still makes up the bulk of manufactured jute products. Jute yarn and twines are also woven into curtains, chair, coverings, carpets and drugs. And it is also increasingly used in a rigid packaging, reinforced uh, plastic, and it's uh, replacing wood in a pulp and paper industries. And also as a geotextile, that is, it is made from jute are biodegradable and flexible, and they also absorb moisture and drain well. They are used to prevent the soil erosion and also for landslides. Therefore, uh, this study, uh, in this study, pulping of jute gunny with a cotton hosiery waste was done with a different ratios and the strength properties were also uh, evaluated. Now coming to the objectives of the study. First objective is to standardize handmade paper making by recycling and reuse of waste jute gunny and hosiery waste. And second one is uh, to assess the quality parameters of handmade papers produced from waste jute gunny and hosiery waste. And uh, methodology part, and this has in, uh, two phases. First phase is a standardization of paper making uh, that is from jute waste and cotton hosiery waste. Uh, in this, um, you know, we have developed a different uh, proportions that is cotton in a pure form, uh, means 100% and jute 100% cotton and uh, jute in a 50-50 ratio and uh, jute and cotton in 75 into you know, 25 ratio and jute cotton 25 into 75 ratio, ratio and also uh, five types of JSON papers were produced that is 90, 120, 150, 180 and 210 uh, GSMs and uh, in this uh, formation of paper involves uh, uh, different steps that is First one is collection and cleaning of jute gunny and cotton waste. Then uh, after collection, it should be clean and uh, make into small pieces, that is a chopping process. After that, we have to weigh the material and the weighed in material will be going for beating uh, process. That is in the Hollander beating uh, machine was used for beating of uh, raw material for pulp production. After that, the pulp was prepared with a different concentration and sheet formation was done with the help of sheet former. And after sheet formation, couching will be done. Couching means that is lifting of paper from the uh, sheet former machine. Then after couching, pressing of uh, sheet, uh, hand sheet formation will be done. That is pressing means removal of uh, extra water. Uh, after that uh, pressing, uh, we have to go for the drying with the uh, air drying process. Uh, after air drying, <coughs> 
we are going to test for the functional and physical properties that is during the it is uh, phase two and in this physical properties are first one is basis weight and it is also called as in grammage and this procedure procedure was followed was tapi 410 method that is technical association of paper in pulp industries the basis weight per unit area this can be expressed as the weight in grams per square meter and second one is the thickness uh, or it is called as caliper and this is done uh, with the um, micrometer and it uh, determines the bulkiness or the dense of the paper then third one is strength index strength index means it is calculated based upon the tear factor of the paper burst factor and folding endurance of the hand sheet formed strength index was calculated now coming to the results figure 1 shows the gsm of hand sheets producing using varied jute and cotton blend proportions that is uh, it is observed that there is a significant difference between the weight of the paper with the different types of gsm and no significant difference was <clears throat> observed between blend ratio and weight of the paper and figure 2 uh, indicates the uh, thickness of hand sheets producing using varied jute and cotton blend proportions and it is also uh, indicates the same thing that is as the <clears throat> um, <clears throat> thickness of the hand sheet with the different uh, types of gsm uh, is increased the thickness of the uh, paper was increased because of the coarseness of the uh, fiber material is the main reason for uh, variation in the thickness then coming to the uh, third uh, result that is the strength index strength index uh, we are already told it is calculated based upon the uh, fear uh, tear factor uh, burst factor and folding endurance and uh, there is also significant difference was observed between the blend ratio on burst factor and hand sheet formation uh, and now coming to the conclusion it gives uh, innovative ideas for recycling and reuse of waste material for formation of hand papers among the different types of blending cotton in pure form has a high folding endurance and burst factor followed by 75 into 25% that is 75% cotton and 25% jute and also 50-50% cotton and jute ratio which showed significant effects on the quality parameters. Uh, handmade paper production system will increase the wealth of the rural to urban areas and also helps in establishing a strong industrial base for income generation activity along with this it uh, reduces the deforestation activity thank you let's go green <laughs>